Hello, my name is Emily, as you may or may not know, and today we are going to be looking at some uh, weird or odd or maybe even drawing, some might say, uh, AI-generated images. Now, AI has become a hot topic these days um, because we are fearful. I am fearful. AI is, you know, objectively a cool thing, right? It's like nowadays, if I wanted to know what it would have sounded like for Judy Garland to sing my neck, my back, my b and crack, we have the technology to do that now. However, if we do continue to go down the trajectory that we're going, um, <laughs> I do think that I'm going to be standing in the corner shaking in my little boots because it is terrifying. Uh, and I would like to make a more serious video about AI at some point, um, but today is not that day. So let's just look at some of these weird pictures, okay? Ark of the Covenant found in a yard sale. It's like finding Noah's Ark at a Honda dealership. Or finding the cave that Jesus was resurrected from on Zillow. You know, I wish I could just go thrifting and find artifacts so valuable that the British would want to steal it. Like, hey guys, welcome back to another thrift haul. The first thing I have for y'all is... King Tut's corpse! This just in! Gorilla let loose on a high school graduation. Oh my god, his face is so red. It's like you have a severe sunburn and you're getting chased by a gorilla. Pick a struggle, man. Oh! Congrats to him. Now what if Harambe never died? And this whole time he's just been plotting his revenge on the kid who climbed into his enclosure. Like I'm gonna go to that little shit's graduation and put a banana peel on stage so he can fall on his ass in front of the entire school district and everyone can point and laugh. Who's the zoo animal now, Kyle? All the teachers are like, hmm. Does the valedictorian look a little hairier to you? He's up on stage giving the speech like, Yeah, I guess. Imagine walking into your local Olive Garden and seeing this. This is the perfect collab between the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and a blobfish with a severe gluten addiction. Like if this version of Will Smith would have punched Kevin Hart, maybe I would have cared more. You know, watching him wobble towards the Oscar stage like all of his bones were removed and replaced with slime. A man eating lava soup. I just know his intestines are doing double dutch right now. This is how I imagine white people when they eat chicken noodle soup with a little too much pepper in it. I'm kidding, I'm joking, okay? It is a vicious and abhorrent stereotype that white people are herbally challenged. But honestly, lava? It looks very appetizing. I'm sorry, I hate to say it. It's the ultimate hot pot. Like, ugh, I wanna be him so bad. God, I wish oh, that, I were, that me. were me. Like, I wanna order the lava soup at a restaurant and then the waitress is like, okay, no problem. They buy me a ticket to Mount Vesuvius, drop me off there, and they're just like, all right, just open your mouth and wait. Kid brings nuclear warhead to class during show and tell, dot, dot, dot. Me being a mother getting called to the principal's office and I'm like, what did my little Timmy do now? And they're like, he brought the bullet that killed Abraham Lincoln to recess. My son's like, Mom, look at my cool new toy! And then he holds up a tooth from one of the deceased soldiers of the Civil War. All the other kids at Show and Tell are like, Wow, look at this cute stuffed animal I got from the Baltimore Aquarium! And then my kid is like, Have you ever heard of Pearl Harbor? And welcome back to the annual celebrity concrete eating contest, y'all! Not Elon slurping up some concrete. Ew, he's sucking on it like it's a chicken wing. And now we got Kanye coming in hot, devouring his slab. But of course our champion, none other than the Pope, y'all, okay? He had the Lord on his side. You know, I'm so tired of events like the Oscars or the Met Gala. It's like, just put all the celebrities into one isolated warehouse and have them suck on some bricks. You know, no music, no interviews, just the sounds of the 1%'s teeth cracking while they're gnawing on that concrete slab. You know, instead of having a demolition, let's just invite the cast of Stranger Things to gnaw at the foundation of the building until it crumbles. DJ Khaled Toilet. Okay, alright, ew. Imagine taking the biggest shit you've ever taken in your life. Like, it's like traumatizing how big... 
It's one of those moments where you're like, wow, the human body is truly capable of so much. And then you just feel DJ Khaled breathing on your back. I would be like, oh my God, hey, like Mr. DJ Khaled, sir, would you mind shouting D -d 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 DJ Khaled, we the best over my plops so no one knows that I'm pooping? It's the least you can do. Imagine a back hug from none other than DJ Khaled while you're taking a steaming piss. Photo of a man mansplaining a woman on how to eat a hamburger. You're on a date at Five Guys and everything is going well until the food comes. You try to take a bite of your burger and your date goes, oh, you silly woman, you're not doing it right. And he proceeds to shove the burger into his cornea. He leans forward and just flutters his eyelashes into the Pepsi. He's like, I thought you said eye contact was important. And I'm like, yes, with the woman, not with your Whopper. Elon Musk screaming at a child working in an emerald mine. Oh my god, that looks like a Goosebumps cover. This is like Elon Musk replacing Bruce Banner as the Hulk, but instead of saving the world with the Avengers, he's just stomping around the city saying, I'm taking away your verification badge. Subscribe to Twitter Blue or I'm knocking down this orphanage. And then everyone's just like, okay, bye bye little Annie. You know, I think all billionaires should just turn green. You know, it's like, you have enough money, absorb some of it into your skin, why don't you? The Joe Biden taunt. Ew, Joe Biden running at you like that in full speed. Talk about an American horror story. The only way to make it scarier would be to make it Trump, okay? His toupee flapping in the wind. Oh, well, okay, I hate that. Oh my God, imagine seeing this guy at the club. You're just seeing these eyes staring you down while an EDM remix of Dance Monkey is blaring in the background. He goes up to a girl like, can I buy you a drink? And she's like, can you put on a baseball cap? Can you wear a turtleneck? Satan reading to sick children in the hospital. The devil saw America's healthcare system and said, I thought hell was supposed to be underground. He's like, hey, little Timmy, I know that you need a liver transplant. It's gonna cost more than your college tuition, but here's some Colleen Hoover to make you feel better. Or is this like a make-a-wish thing? And the kid was like, I don't want Elsa anymore. I want Lucifer. And then everyone's just like, I mean, the kid has cancer. I guess what he says goes. Nike sneakers for wedding. I would wear these and not walk down the aisle, but fully sprint down the aisle and jump over the guests like they're hurdles in track and field. And when my wife leans forward to kiss me, I'm gonna fake her out at the altar and break her ankles. My wife's not even at the wedding. There's just a basketball hoop at the end of the aisle and I run down past all the guests and dunk. And miss. Jesus takes a selfie during the Last Supper. Jesus posting on his Instagram story during the Last Supper like, wine night with the girls. Imagine if there was social media back then, that would be crazy. We would have Eve making a YouTube apology video titled, The Apple Incident. Judas posting a video called, Breaking My Silence. Shocked YouTuber thumbnail reacting to a cockroach. To be fair, that is also how I react to a cockroach. I love this one where the cockroach also looks shocked. Okay, but actually real talk, while we're on the topic, making a thumbnail as a YouTuber is so humiliating. It is so humbling. Like I literally sit here in the silence of my own apartment going like, like, like I feel like a mime, you know? I'm sitting here like, and then when I'm editing in a cafe trying to find the thumbnail, I have my brightness like all the way down so no one can see what I'm doing. The world's most expensive burger. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's beautiful, right? Uh, the texture looks like it might be a little tough on the molars there. Uh, sorry, does this place only serve rocks? Because I just ordered meatballs and you brought me a lump of coal with a plop of marinara on it. Imagine doing a food ASMR while eating this burger. It just sounds like construction. When people talk about like the worst foods to eat during a first date, they're like, oh, ribs, wings, things with onions. Yeah, this takes the cake. It's like when you take a bite of this and try to smile at your date, there's gonna be no teeth there, just remnants of enamel pouring out of your gob. Nuclear explosion gender reveal party. So fun. Oh my God, it's a girl. And domestic terrorism. The duality of woman. Like, hey everyone, you're invited to my gender reveal party. Okay, the theme is everybody take cover. My leg, I can't feel my leg. You know, this is such good baby shower inspo. I think for mine, I'm gonna launch a missile at North Korea and the fumes are gonna be blue or pink. And you know, if they get mad at me, I'm just gonna be like, guys, like, come on. Most common chip brand. Oh, 
You know, there's nothing tastier than a crispy bag of kaum, kalinens, konun, koun. Mm mm mm. Crossbreed between Donald Trump and the humble blobfish. Oh, so cute. <laughs> he looks very moist. He looks like he just has like so much saliva in his mouth at all times. Like whenever he speaks, it just bubbles out between his lips like a witch's cauldron. You know, the comb over at the top also looking partially blobby. It's impactful. Oh my God, he, you know what? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Do you know how homely and un unsightly you have to be to bear some sort of resemblance between a combination of a blobfish and Donald Trump? All right. Well, I think I've had enough. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you're all having a great day. Comment down below. What are your plans for today? What are you guys up to, you know? After this, I'm gonna try and force myself to film some TikToks uh, because I haven't posted in almost two months. So, be on the lookout for those, I guess. And I'm also gonna have to pose for the thumbnail after this. So, prayers. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys have a good day and until next time.